Morning, everyone. I know I've been gone for a year at least. Uh, it's early. Just finished up doing the chores, feeding turkeys and, and chickens. Uh, yeah, been up since the before the crack of dawn. Sun's just now starting to really come up over the trees, but. I just wanted to say I'm gonna start trying to make uh, videos again you know I had a rough it's been a rough year okay so it's well maybe not clearly to y'all but I don't have a beard um, it is pretty much a week since I shot that intro video I had lots of uh, intentions of showing you um, that turkey butchering but come to realize only having one hand and having to teach someone um, there wasn't a lot of available time for me to film or do any of that kind of stuff and then as the week progressed uh, I really just needed to finish the turkeys um, Kind of the same thing with the old uh, death wobble fix on my uh, F-250 there. Um, I'll get down right now. I'm about to go feed the chickens. But I'll show you uh, what I did. And so far, uh, I haven't had any death wobbles since doing it. Um, my buddy Cody helped me out because, again, I only have one hand. So... Let me uh, take you over and under the truck here. So I know this isn't the best angle, but you can see this steering damper here. Replace that. It was just a bolt there, a bolt here. If you go with this Fox brand, it comes with the adapter. Um, it was really easy. Just had to buy a tool, went to Harbor Freight and bought a tool. It was like $16 to get this is $16 to get the uh, the pin here pulled out of the arm and I'll show you that so that was the part that it needed to pull yeah uh, what was that that was $16.99 That was $16.99 So pretty cheap As you can see, I uh, have been dealing with a broken chickshaw door for far too long. It really makes moving them difficult when you can't uh, keep them 
locked in. You know, you wake up every morning and there's already chickens out. So I'm going with some scrap wood that I have. I'm gonna try and make it a little more lightweight, hoping that that helps uh, with keeping the hinges from ripping out. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go beefy and possibly bolt through everything. Um, so I'm gonna get going and I'll probably just put this on time lapse. Apparently, I don't have any charged batteries. It's gonna make this even more difficult with one hand. But hey, Louie, Lulu, Louie. It's one of the new kittens. We uh, thought they were both girls, so they were named uh, Thelma and Louise. But Louise turned out to be a Louie. So now, it's Thelma and Louie. So this is Louie, and then this is Thelma. She could really care less about being held, but Louie, oh yeah, he's a lover. Well, I have to figure out how to cut this wood, or I'm gonna have to wait for batteries to charge. So, hopefully we'll be back this in, uh, in a little bit. Thanks to a helping hand, I was able to get my chop saw moved over so I was able to get that wood cut while the batteries charge. I'm um, hoping one battery is good enough still to run my cordless drill so I can start slapping this together. So I'm just going to staple these thin slats uh, on there, give them a little traction, but first I'm going to glue them. Now my friend's wife recently, they were helping me clean out my garage uh, and she had commented on whether or not I thought I had enough wood glue. Well, here's to you Brittany because you can never have enough wood glue. let that dry up then I think I'll put a coat of paint on it it's not super good uh, wood it's just some flimsy plywood uh, quarter inch plywood on some uh, two by six pressure treated wood on the bottom and of course you can see that Silly cat over that's Thelma. They're like playing on this trailer. This is gonna be a project. Um, so make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, but I'm gonna be working on this trailer, getting it running. Like I said in the intro, there's some other big ticket items uh, that I really am excited to share. And I got notification that shipping was gonna be delayed on my super awesome, epic special thing that I have coming. So, definitely subscribe, hit the follow if you want to check it out. You want to check out this trailer build, build um, 
and then all the other builds that will be coming to the channel here. Oh, I'm gonna let this dry. See, so I, I made this new uh, chickshaw door, basically just out of scraps, what I had laying around. And there's an important reason, which you'll see in later videos and in, in other builds, to why I am uh, not really investing a bunch more money into this chickshaw. I'm gonna be going away from using this style of chicken coop um, and if you guys uh, follow along on the channel, you'll see why. But for now, I'm going to put this door on so that I can close them up and keep on moving them. Hey all thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's gonna be more coming out, um, getting back in the swing of things. Like I said, I got some big projects, some big things happening on the channel. So for all those that stayed subscribed, I appreciate you. Uh, for all my new subscribers, welcome to Raw Primal. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one.